David, it's a tough one to take today. Um, what was your overall assessment of today? Uh, woeful. Okay. And at times quite good. But by no means enough to win a football match at any level, let alone this level. Um, you can't play for one half. You can't compete as we did. And you can't show much more willingness and, and um, competitive spirit and uh, aggression in the second half that just highlights how poor we were in the first half and you get what you deserve. So there is a huge range of emotion in terms of going from uh, pulling our hair out to, to doing some good things. But um, it's uh, certainly a difficult time on the pitch at the moment and we need to make sure that we stay together and that is the most important thing. And the boys will, they do, but we've got to grow up to do it quickly. Why, why is it that we seem to have these poor starts in games or we have these defensive errors that look so blatantly obvious yet we can't seem to quite get it to tick each week as, as the games go on? <clears throat> it's a, a young group, it's a fairly new group, there's some naivety in there and, and we're lacking in terms of some decision making. Uh, but the group is what the group is, it's, um, uh, we are in a situation that we are in and and this is it and we need to make sure that we as i say grow up quickly and, and learn our lessons fast we've had so many lessons in the previous game uh, and we need to make sure that we play properly with a purpose and and we are competitive as though it actually means as much as it does to the fans and there are times when even i have to say that we need to be careful in what we're all doing uh, it's not good enough to to not compete properly and it's not good enough to perform second half in such a contrast to the first. There are many mitigating circumstances, there are many reasons for them, um, but the bottom line is plainly clear. Uh, we need to do better uh, competitively, but we need to make sure that we stay together and, and it, it is a, a steep learning curve that we will come through, I'm sure. You decided to go with our new lonely goalkeeper today. Um, what was it potentially you needed to see from a goalkeeper when you were choosing to bring them in and your decision today to play Terrell instead of White? Uh, well, Bert has left the club. Um, so Billy has come in and has played today. Uh, there was no decision to make. Harrison's been very good. Um, but it, we wanted to see the, 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 the goalkeeper that came in, but that was... Uh, Hobson's choice on that in terms of that decision making. Um, we have to respect the uh, the game properly. We need to respect the boys where they've come from, not just the lone boys, but all of us. Uh, and we need to understand quickly, all of us. Uh, I'm certainly not talking about the lone boys. I am talking absolutely collectively about the whole group. We need to learn very quickly about what is needed and what is taken, uh, what is necessary to to get points in this at this level. And to be honest, Ted, I'm not. It's any level. It's it's one of the beauties of football that the uh, the basics uh, are very similar to how they were when I was playing. The basics is very similar to how they were when the game started, and we don't do them well enough. And, and if we by any chance do, like we did second half, and there were lots of positive uh, performances in there, we don't do them the basics well enough often enough. And we need to make sure we do. Obviously, we can talk about the performance again and talk about how we can improve in terms of going into next week. But obviously, next week might be quite a big game for you as well in terms of the fact that you're playing your former club. But from your time there and from you know being a part of that group, will that be quite a nice game for you in terms of like on a personal level? No, not at all. It's um, it's a fantastic club, but it's it's it is what it is. It's gone. We're only focused on what it is here. And we need to turn ourselves into a fantastic club. There are really good people working here. There are many volunteers. The supporters have been fantastic, literally fantastic in the time, certainly since I've been here, but supporting, supporting and supportive of the football club. And that's the key factor. And whatever happen, is happening behind the scenes, the most important thing, the only thing that matters is the football club. Uh, and making sure that that is run properly and, done, and, and is done the right thing. And we have to make sure that we are doing all we can. We have enough in the group. There are some good players in there. We need to do better than what we're doing. But whoever we play, it's uh, they're all very difficult games as we've found out um, so far. We're a very small group and we have the two games in the three days, but we need to rise to the challenge and we certainly uh, won't shirk from it. We'll rise to it, we'll keep working and we'll go from there.